These are 8P blocks. They hold 8 cells. Let's start by putting them in. As with all battery blocks, you can use salvage cells like these. Here's the negative terminal. The cool thing about this is you don't have to take off the spot welding tabs. And that can save you salvagers, like me, a lot of work. There they are in there. They stay in there. The magnets hold them in. And then you put the top on, lining up the arrows with the arrows down here on the black case. And there it is. Okay, now we look and be sure that the holes are lined up going through the center of the cells. If not, the plate is easily slid back and forth a little bit because, you know, nothing's fixed yet. If we're going to hook another battery block up to it in series, we use a series connector. And the series connector goes here and the other battery block would just slide right in here like this and get connected. Okay. Uh, now we go with the nylon bolts. All these battery blocks come with enough of these ring terminals to make a battery. So here's a power terminal. We'll put this in. And here is a sensor terminal. This is a little ring terminal that's more for a 14, 16 gauge wire. It comes with those two. We'll put these in. And here's just a plain nylon bolt. There they are on the other side. Okay, let's put washers on. Now for these nuts, these little nylon nuts are fidgety. The best way to put them on is just to sort of press them against the block and sort of hold it with your finger like that. And then turn the head of the bolt. Few turns gets it that way they get threaded on straight and they go on real fast and easy that way. You don't need to hold the other, you can hold the other end with your finger, it'll, it'll be fine. As I'm driving, I'm holding this uh, ring terminal straight and there we go, it's done. Let's go put some current through this sky. We'll swap the batteries out, put some current through it, and see how it does. Here we have the 8-pack. I've got some QB cells in it, the Queen B cells. These are rated at about 7 amps each. Let's um, see how it does. Um, not bad. It's drawing 45 amps from 8 cells. Let's take a look at the temperatures on this. The tops are 96. Let's watch it warm up for a minute. 97. We're still drawing 45 amps. Let's look at the cells. Cells are staying pretty cool. 94, and of course the resistors are at 230 degrees. 45 amps. Yeah, I'd say these Queen B cells can put out quite a bit of power. Let's check the temperatures again of the battery block. Okay, let's say 96. And of the cells, 100 and of the resistors that they're powering 268 all right